Okay. Hello students and welcome. So today we are going to learn about Pythagorean triplets. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you first. Now just start. Okay. Now as everybody knows the Pythagorean theorem of you, but let me explain a little bit about the Pythagorean theorem first. So what is the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, so Pythagoras theorem is a theorem which is related to right angle triangle, right? What is meant by right angle triangle? Right angle triangle means one angle of this triangle is basically 90 degrees, right? That's what we call as a right angle triangle which we'll use for Pythagoras theorem, okay? So in Pythagoras theorem, what we have, we have three sides. As we know, triangle, right? Triangle basically have three sides. So Pythagoras theorem is applicable for this three, three sides. So what we have, this side is called as the base of this triangle. This, this length is called as the perpendicular to the right angle triangle. And this length is called as hypotenuse. So what is basically Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is basically hypotenuse square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. What it is? Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Now, what is meant by Pythagorean triplet? So, Pythagorean triplet is a pair of three sides. Means if one of the side of the Pythagoras, if one of the side of this right angle triangle is known to us, if one of the side is known to us, we are able to find out the rest two sides of this right angle triangle with the help of Pythagorean triplet. Basically, this Pythagorean triplet have three members because Pythagoras theorem which contain the right angle triangle has three sides. So, for uh, example, how to find out the pair of three? Suppose if I have, and if I have a pair of three and I have to find out, these are the Pythagorean triplet or not. Suppose take an example, I have a side uh, three, four, and five. I have these three sides. Basically, always hypotenuse is greater than base as well as hypotenuse is greater than perpendicular means the largest length of this triplet the largest length of the triplet is basically your hypotenuse so i can say that h is equal to 5 so what my pythagoras theorem says pythagorean theorem says hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so i have hypotenuse which is 5 square and the rest two sides i can consider 3 and 4 for any of them right so I just make 3 square plus 4 square. So 5 square is basically 25. And I have 3 square which is 9 plus 4 square which is 16. So I can say that this 25 is equal to 25. Means this pair, this pair of 3 number definitely follow the Pythagoras theorem which is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square because this 25 is equal to 25. So I can say that these three numbers are Pythagorean triplet. Take one more example. If I have only one pair, uh, I know only one pair from it, or only, only one number from it. Like suppose if I know, <clears throat> if I say one of the members, one of the member of the Pythagorean triplet is 6. Find rest of the members. One of the member of Pythagorean triplet is 6. I wanted to find the rest of the two members from it. So for that, I have a very simple formula. To find out the Pythagorean triplet is that twice m. Twice m. And the other thing is 2m. I'm sorry. m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. These are the three members of Pythagorean triplets. 
These are the three members of Pythagorean triplets. So basically, one member, one of the member of Pythagorean triplet I already know. So I can say that twice m is equal to what? 6. So basically, m is equal to 3. I got this m is equal to 3. Now, I have to find out the next member, which I say m square plus 1. So which is m square plus 1, which is 3 square plus 1. That is 9 plus 1 is 10. And another member is m square minus 1. So which is m square minus 1, basically 9 minus 1, which is 8. So I have to find out if these three members are make a Pythagorean triplet or not. So hypotenuse I know that it is greater than base and it is greater than the perpendicular. Right? I know that. So I can consider this H that is hypotenuse is equal to 10. So I can say 10 square is equal to. But see guys member is twice M that is twice M which is equal to 6. The member is not 3 means one of the member of the Pythagorean triplet is not 3. It's not 3. It basically is 6 because one of the member of the Pythagorean triplet they have given which is 6. So basically 6 square plus 8 square. So 6 square plus 8 square. 6 square is 36 and 8 square is 64. And I have 10 square which is 100. So basically 100 is equal to 100. So, what I got the Pythagorean triplet? 6, 8 and 10. So, I can find out Pythagorean triplet from only one number. That is 6, 10 and 8 is a Pythagorean triplet.